Hey guys, how are you going? This is Billy Eat World again, and today we're going to kick off a brand new series of top five tips videos for all of you new BF1 players. And to start with, the first topic we're going to take a look at is obviously my favourite thing about this game, the semi-automatic rifles. Before we start though, just remember that the points I do make in this video are my own opinion, so if you don't agree, that's fine, but please let me know. And also, if you've got an idea for a topic for a top five you'd like me to take a look at in a future video, then feel free to let me know that as well, and I'll see what I can do. But anyway, to kick off, coming in at number five is carry a reliable pistol, and most importantly, don't be afraid to use it because one of the most common mistakes I often see new players making with semi-autos is to try to use them at all ranges. See, the fact is, even the faster firing semi-autos aren't really that good at point-blank range, like for example, when you're clearing out buildings. And quite often you'll find that even a stock standard pistol like the 1911 is going to have a better chance at that range because they're much more accurate from the hip. Now, coming in next at number four is don't use high-powered optics because long range isn't really what these guns are designed for. And really, most of the time, two times zoom or less is going to be way more than enough for the sort of ranges that a semi-auto is really going to dominate at. To be honest, I actually even prefer the iron sights with these guns because unlike the scopes, they don't take up any extra screen area. And trust me, you'll find that on balance, things like this are way more important than a ton of extra zoom. And once you understand that, you'll end up doing a lot better. Now next on the list at number three is stop and pop, which is probably something you're not that familiar with if you're new to the Battlefield franchise. And what I mean by this is if you think you're safe, try to stop moving before you open fire on a target. The reason you want to do this is because in BF1, not only does every weapon have a base accuracy stat, it's also got a moving accuracy stat. And on some of the semi-autos, the moving accuracy is up to nine times worse than when you're standing still, which obviously makes a huge difference. Now, along the same lines as that last point, coming in next at number two is pace out your shots. And that's because in this game, not only do you have to deal with recoil, you also have to deal with the spread of your gun getting worse with every shot. What that means is to stay accurate, you need to slow down your shots a little and give your weapon the time it needs to recover. And I've got to admit this does take a while to master because the amount you need to slow down depends on the type of weapon you're using and the range you're shooting at. But finally, coming in at number one, the last and by far the most important tip for using semi-autos is to play defensively. And what I mean by this is that unlike when you're using an SMG, you need to hang back a little and let your squad mates move in first. Also, when you're moving around, whenever you can, you need to consciously avoid close quarters areas of the map. Because like I said, semi-autos just aren't that effective in places like buildings, so if you stay out of them, you won't have to deal with that disadvantage. But anyway guys, I think that just about wraps up this top five, so let me know what you think about these tips, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of my videos, or if you want to support my channel on Patreon, and until next time, see you later and have a good one.